Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Three-time Emmy Award winner Sean Hayes is returning to Broadway as actor, pianist, and raconteur Oscar Levant in Pulitzer Prize winner Doug Wright's new play, Goodnight Oscar. Under the direction of Lisa Peterson, it begins performances on April 7th at the Velasco Theater, and I caught up with the company during a break in rehearsal. First of all, you're about to return to Broadway. How excited are you? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I'm so excited to be back on Broadway. This is a dream. I've been working on this thing for 15, 20 years. Well, let's talk about Oscar. What fascinates you the most about him? What incredible talent. What a complex man, too. Yeah, um, you know, Oscar Levant was uh, a raconteur, a wit, a, a virtuoso pianist, an incredible, intelligent writer. He wrote these incredible books that um, are all fascinating and funny. And also, but he struggled with mental health issues and addiction. And so a lot of things I um, can relate to in him and there's other things that are challenging. And just as an actor, I think if we're not trying to find things that push us and challenge us, we're kind of, what are we doing? You know, like it's, it's too easy to just stay in your lane a little bit. It's nice to kind of uh, merge into other areas as you drive through uh, your career. So this is one of those really, really scary things for me because I'm nothing like him. Yeah. And working with this incredible cast and talk about your director, Lisa Peterson. Yeah, Lisa Peterson is a, also a dream to work with. She is one of the best directors I've ever worked with. I always tell her to her face, I'll say it right here, half of my performance is her and the other half is um, pure luck. <laughs> if it works um but um yeah she's been a dream to work with uh, i trust her uh, with my life so she she's great and then i'm surrounded by this incredible cast i mean it really is an ensemble show and you know um everybody's just at the top of their a-game where did your admiration and love begin with Oscar Levant? Oscar Levant, to me, is a deeply compelling character because in some ways he was so tragically broken, but he managed to save his own life every day through humor. And when he could have crumpled under the weight of his own illness, instead he triumphed over it by uh, the strength of a single witty remark. And so I think there's a lesson in Oscar's life for all of us. How excited are the two of you? You know, what's amazing is that we've already done this play in The Goodman, and it was such magic. It's, it's like we don't want to jinx it, but it's one of those shows that just, it doesn't come around very much, something that's this special. We spent the entire run in Chicago saying this. Like, it's, a, it's like a warm bath. It's like coming home. Like, these people are just the most generous, spirited, warm-hearted, goofy group of artists and we just we like I literally run here every day so thrilled to come back to Broadway with something this special I'm extremely excited this is my Broadway debut uh, and I actually think you know in an interesting way it might be some audience members uh, uh, debut into the world of Oscar Levant I think a lot of people don't know that much about him they maybe have seen him in a film or two or maybe they know that he was a funny piano playing you know wit from the 50s but I think people will learn a lot about him and they'll really enjoy the play how excited are you to be returning to Broadway in this play I can't believe it this is uh, one of the coolest things that I've ever done and I'm very very honored to be here with every with every person so you're about to return to Broadway in Doug Wright's glorious new play Goodnight Oscar in a theater where you just closed in another show right yes yes it's wow it's 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 it, I think my brain is like I haven't quite put it together tomorrow we get into the theater and I'm so excited because one, it feels a little bit like I'm coming home because, you know, I know a lot of those folks there. I'm going to walk in. Some of my stuff is still there. <laughs> I, I switched dressing rooms, but some of my stuff is still there. Um, so I'm really excited to, to, uh, to continue um, what I started here, you know? Well, let's talk about the script. Doug is such an incredible writer. I mean, what's it like living in his words and the world of Oscar Levant? I truly mean this. I'm the luckiest actor alive to get to say Doug writes words. He's He's brilliant. I mean, he's a brilliant, brilliant um, playwright, uh, writer, you know, movies, everything. He does everything. And everybody, if you don't know, he's a Pulitzer Prize winning playwright and um, for I Am My Own Wife. But uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm the luckiest actor in the world to say Doug Wright's words. Uh, he 
it's been a dream to work with him for a long, long time. And I've always known who he was and, and his work. And so uh, here I am. I can't believe it. What has it been like working with Sean on this play and watching him find his way in to Oscar Levant? From the first time I met Sean on Zoom, <laughs> I, just, I just fell in love with him. He has the ability to do that because he's a listener, he's real, he's generous, he's a kind person. He is funny, um, but it's easy. You know, it's easy humor that just comes from being open. He's one of the most open people I've ever met, and he sets a great tone, so he's a great team leader, which is why I think the cast is so playful and fun. Also, the play is funny, until it isn't, but, uh, you know, uh, we've been having a great time, and a lot of it is because Sean is also, I will say, one of the hardest working actors I've ever known. He will come in early and drill things. He's um, thoughtful. He's, he's always willing to try something new. He's a real stage actor, and I don't say that lightly. He has it, you know, stage presence for days, and he knows how to do the work to build a performance. And I always say to him, you know, I just hope he never leaves doing the theater because he's so great at it. He really is. And talk about like bringing him back to life again, Oscar Levan, introducing him to a whole new audience, yeah. what that honor means to you. Yeah, it's a huge honor bringing Oscar back to, to younger audiences yep. who don't know who he is. Um, I believe he, he, he deserves to be resurrected again and people need to be reminded of his genius and also what he paved as far as being a pioneer in comedy. I mean, he was a shocking, shocking uh, wit, uh, uh, humorist, uh, and would say the most outrageous things on live television. And so, for lack of, you know, hundreds of examples, before Dave Chappelle, there was uh, George Carlin, before that, Lenny Bruce, before that, Oscar Levant, you know, and, and tons of others. But Oscar was truly one of the first to just speak openly on live television about mental health issues and make fun of himself before anybody else could.